Hey everyone, Michael here. A lot of you guys have been asking me how to set up your trading view chart so you guys can make some more consistent income and which indicators I would be using. So today I'm going to break down everything I use to make a consistent income and on top of that, how to get your charts looking very, very clean so they're not cluttered and all over the place, okay? First things first, I will be zooming in my chart today. This is at 100%. I'm going to be moving this to 175 just so you guys can read everything I'm doing, okay? Afterwards, what we're going to be doing is actually opening up a new layout, okay? New layout, I want you guys to start fresh, okay? Afterwards, I want you guys to rename this. Whatever you guys want to rename this, whatever feels the most professional to you. I'm going to be using some Lux Algo indicators on this one, so let me call it Lux Work, okay? Nice and simple. Going to hit save. I don't use the volume while trading all too much personally, so I'm actually just going to hide this indicator for now. If you guys have limited amounts of indicators, you guys can just remove this, okay? Next, what we're going to be doing is going over here to indicators, metrics, and strategies, and we're just going to be adding some simple moving averages. So just type in MA, and it's going to be right here under technicals, moving average. Click on this three times, okay? One, two, three. And if you guys use it a lot, you guys can always put a star right there. Afterwards, you're going to go to the first one, change the length to be 20. You guys are going to go to style, change the color to be green, and I want you guys to make this as uh, thick as possible, okay? Hit OK. For the next one, you guys are going to go over here and make it into a lighter blue as thick as possible and make the input for the length be 50. Hit OK. Again, we're going to go to the last one. You're going to do chart length. I want you guys to do 200 and I want you guys to go to style and make it yellow and again be as thick as possible. Now you guys have a 20 moving average, a 50 moving average and a 200 moving average. Okay. Now. Next, we're going to be using some premium indicators that I like to use from Lux Algo. You guys can use your own indicators, but this is how you guys, I, I would recommend setting them up, okay? I'm going to use the price action concepts one and the signals and overlays. I'm not going to be using the oscillator. So I'm going to go one, two, just like that. And then from here, I have a few options. I'm using the Bitcoin one minute chart, but guys, these indicators work on um, crypto stocks and Forex. Whether you guys are trading like Forex pairs, whatever, it works on everything really, which is why I like it so much. Now, you're going to go over here to Lux Algo Price Action Concepts. From here, go over to Settings, and then you guys are going to go over here to Inputs. If it starts off at Style, don't change anything on here. It's basically because the last thing I was on was the Style in the Moving Averages. Go over here to Inputs, and I want you guys to go to Internal, None, Swing, None, Structural MTF Scanner. I want you guys to leave that on. Equal Highs and Lows, turn that off. Internal Order Blocks, I want you guys to turn both of these off. For swing, you guys could possibly turn this on. For now, I'll turn swing on, but I'll make this go to two. That way, I'm only going to be seeing two order blocks here. I'm going to continue to move down. The time frame is going to remain the chart. I'm going to turn on trend lines and patterns. That way, I can automatically have my trend lines and patterns set up on my charts, which is pretty nice. I'm going to keep liquidity grabs turned off. Fair value, I'm going to have turned off. Everything else turned off except for show consolidation. I'm going to turn that off as well but I want you guys to click on the daily and the weekly. These are just going to show you the the daily and weekly highs because a lot of times those can be used as levels of resistance and support, okay? Now, as far as the labeling here and the general styling, I want you guys to set, eh, really you guys don't have to change much besides the dashboard up here on the right-hand side. I'd make that dashboard large personally. The reason I say that is because, again, I'm zoomed in at 175%. If I go back down to 100%, it doesn't really look that big, does it? But for now, since it does look really, really big, I'm actually just going to keep this right over here. Let's just call it around maybe small or, mm, yeah, let's do small for me personally because I can still see it here. You guys might have some trouble, but I can still see it. And you can see how the patterns are already being automated for me. I like that a lot, okay? Next, we're going to be going over here, and you guys can just one more time verify everything that I've done. Everything is done. These are alerts that you guys can set up. I don't need alerts when I'm trading. I'm trading when I'm not trading. I'm not trading. Okay. Next is Lux Algo Premium. We're going to go over here to the settings and you guys can have presets on this one, but I'm not going to have any presets. I'm going to have signal mode, confirmation and exits because I want to have confirmation on my trades and I want to have potential exit points. Signal sensitivity, keep it at 12. Autopilot, autopilot signals, excuse me. Click that as check mark. For color candles, I want that to be confirmation simple. And then afterwards, I'm going to add reversal zones, and I want the dashboard there. Nothing else for me personally based on my trading strategy. Afterwards, I want to have target price and stop losses automatically on my chart, so I'm going to go over here and set this to on. I like to have larger swings for the market personally. I don't want to just be in the market for like 5-10 minutes. 
I want to be there for maybe 15 to a half an hour if I'm scalping and then possibly like, you know, four to eight hours if I'm day trading and then if I'm swing trading uh, about a couple weeks. Okay, so I like to be in these trades for an extended period of time if possible. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to set this to six or seven. If you guys like to do smaller trades, you guys might be looking at something more like the three or the four and you'll see how the, uh, the stop loss and the target price right here shrink down a lot more. Personally for me, I like those larger moves. Those larger moves make me a lot more money. So I'm going to be keeping this around that six or seven level and I can change them as much as I want to. Next here, I'm going to go to autopilot frequency and I'm going to turn this to the long term here. And then for the dashboard size, which is way down here, I'm going to make this small, but you guys may actually end up making this large by the time you guys are using this on your own monitors. Okay. Everything else is alerts. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to hit okay. And then I have a basic setup here so I can see what's happening on this particular chart, which is a Bitcoin one minute chart. However, I just don't want to look at a Bitcoin one minute chart. I want to be looking at a five minute chart and a 15 minute chart because I'm going to be doing all types of trades using this one layout. All right. So what you guys are going to do is come up here to the right hand corner and it's going to say select layout. I want you guys to put either four or six or eight, depending on how many you can fit in your monitor. I would say at most, most of you guys are just going to be using six. Okay. Especially if you guys have a nicer monitor, six is the key. If you guys have a wide monitor, which I have over here, but not over here, I would actually put eight on it. Okay. But with your standard size monitor, I think this is around like 20 something inches. This is about six. If you guys have like a 17 one, you maybe only guys can do four, but you guys can test this out. All right. But to start everything off, I want you guys to do six right here. And just like that, it's going to copy everything really, really easy. So now I have a bunch of Bitcoin one minute charts here, except for you can see everything is a little bit cluttered and I'll explain how to fix that in a second. Next, what I want you guys to do is go through each one of these and change the time frame. So for the first one, that's going to be a Bitcoin one minute chart. After that, five minute chart. After that, 15 minute chart. Then we're going to skip over here to an hour. I don't necessarily need the 30 minute chart, but for you guys, actually, let's do the 30 minute chart. You never know what it can tell you guys. After that, we're going to be going to, let's say the hour. And then over here at the last one, we'll do the four hour. It's up to you if you guys want to do the one hour versus the two hour experiment and see which one works the best. It's not too hard to experiment. All you got to do is check out the chart and see how accurate the two hour was compared to the four hour versus the three hour versus the one hour versus the 30 minutes. Not too complicated. Okay. Now you can see how everything is still a bit cluttered, but that's because I'm zoomed in at about 175%. If I zoom out just a little bit here and go back to 100%, and hit auto on all of these so they don't look all spread out and wild. Make sure every make sure log is turned on for all these as well. You want to make sure everything is the same here. There we go. Log auto. Everything's fine. Okay. Now what I have is a one minute chart with the trend lines and patterns, a five minute chart with the trend lines and patterns, a 15 with the same, four, one, and the 30 minute charts. And then if I scroll over here, you guys can see I have my stop losses right here. I can see my stop losses and target prices right here. And again, I got everything I need as far as the stop losses, target prices on the 15. And whenever I feel like I need to check something out a little bit more, I can just go over here and I can hit the right hand level over here. Maybe I can shrink this down a little bit right there. That little box and it makes it large. And from there, I can take a deeper look into it and I have everything set up the way I want it to be set up. So as far as this, maybe I want to be scalping for a little bit. Oops, sorry, I was zoomed in a little bit too much there. Let's say I want to scout full of it. Maybe I only need to use the five minutes and the one minute here. So I can go over here to two and you can see how it's the 30 right here. What I can actually do here to fix this is go back over here to six and I can move this 30. You can see this is one, two, three, four. I can actually move this to the point where the five is over here. I'm not going to do it right now, but basically you just move the chart forward and backwards. So once you right click on it, you're going to go over here to move chart forward and move it chart backwards. I like the layout like this, so I don't mind just kind of skipping over every now and again. But if I go back over here, this first one, let's do a little bit of a, a replay, so to speak. And we can see how this indicator works if I'm just using this like this at a 100% zoom, so nothing's too crazy, okay? And what I'm going to be looking for basically is my cell signals and basically just some of these order blocks as level of support and these levels of resistance and support as far as these waves, okay? basic buy and sell signals. If you guys want something else, you guys can always go back over here to the price action concepts after you guys have watched my first tutorial and you guys can have their internal structures like the change of characters and the break of structures. You guys can have those added on for extra signals 
For now, though, I'm just making this nice and simple, okay? So let's hit play very fast, and we're just looking for a buy signal here that'll take us into the stop loss, okay? So far, there's no buy signal. There's a couple patterns. There's a breakout above the trend line. If you guys want to take that for the scalp right there, that's also pretty easy. Here's the buy signal. We're going to be trying to get back up here if we can. Still not at the stop loss, though. Let's speed this up a little bit. And there's this. We hit the target price. We exit right there. Strong move right there. We hit the target price right there. Looking for the buy signal right there. Seeing if it works out. Hit this up. Hit it right there. Take my profits. Still doing pretty well, though. No more buy signals unless you're doing that huge signal right there. But again, I'm scalping in this method on a one minute chart. If I want to be looking at the five minute chart, I can also be doing that as well. Okay. Sell signal right here. Let's see if we get back in here. This doesn't always work. So I want you guys to understand that worked right there, worked right there, but it didn't work on this first one. Okay. So there's always opportunities. You're still on the sell signal here. So you can always be making more profits. And in case you guys are a little bit more lazy or something like that, you guys can also just go over here and check, check the five minute chart out and see how's the scalping working on that while using the moving averages to determine the trend shift, such as a death cross or a golden cross, etc. And you guys can be seeing how often you guys want to be doing this. You can see a strong upward move right here going into the resistance zones. So you might not be taking that as much as you want to, but as soon as you break down off this trend line, you can do a quick scalp down to the stop loss. But remember, these stop losses are pretty large. So if you're going to be doing smaller scalping, you guys would actually want to turn the Lux Alga Premium. You do want to turn this six over here into something more like a three or a two. That way it's working out for more of your strategy, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to test it out. You guys do not have to use these indicators. There's plenty of other ones out there. But if you guys want to put them up on all six charts, make sure you guys have a proper setup and that it's not too cluttered. Thanks, everybody.